give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Talk of all his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Scripture repeatedly instructs all to call upon and give glory to the name of the Creator. However, it is impossible to do this when that name is unknown. The Creator of heaven and earth wanted his name known and used by all. Lord is not his name. God is not his name either. These are merely titles, meaning master and deity. Satan has tried to hide the names of the Almighty by substituting these titles in their place. The Creator who wanted all to know his name clearly stated, I am Yahuwah, that is my name, and my glory I will not give to another. Yahuwah, also pronounced Yahweh, means I am that I am. This unique name, which is used 5,500 times in Scripture, reveals that the Creator is all-powerful, everywhere present, and eternally existent. Ancient Semitic script contained meanings in addition to just the phonetic sound of the letter. Originally, ancient Hebrew did not contain vowels, so the name of Yahuwah was spelled capital Y-H-W-H. -H. The symbolic meaning contained in these letters reveals the Father's plan of redemption through His only begotten Son. The first letter was a hand and arm. The next letter, He, was a man standing with upraised arms. It meant, Behold. The original pictograph for this letter was a picture of a tent peg. Tent pegs were made of wood and may have been Y-shaped to prevent the rope from slipping off. The holy name ends with another He. The symbolic meaning of these pictographs outlines the plan of salvation. Hand, behold. Nail, behold. As the omnipotent Almighty, Yahuwah is present everywhere, hearing every word, seeing every action, and feeling every emotion that throbs the human heart. Everyone wants someone to know exactly how they feel, because Yahuwah feels what we feel. We have the assurance that help, wisdom, and comfort will come at the precise time it is needed in answer to prayer. His divine name is the assurance that your Heavenly Father knows what you need. Scripture states that Yahuwah has always been alive. He is alive now and will always be alive. The very name I Am reveals His self-existence. Here is the power of this holy name. Yahuwah, the great I am that I am, sees all, he knows all, and has always been alive. He is therefore the perfect Father to direct each life. Pagans understood the necessity of calling upon their God by a specific name. Beginning in Sumer, Babylon, and Egypt, and from there spreading throughout the ancient world, worshippers believe that in order to receive favor from a god, one must call upon him by his secret name. The elite who were initiated into the pagan mysteries had more demonic power 
because they knew and could use the gods' powerful hidden names. Ancient Egyptians had over 2,000 gods. Each of these had many secret names. In order to access supernatural power, the demon god must be directly addressed by his specific name. These names were regarded as magical and great care was taken to hide them from personal and national enemies. It was believed that an enemy could entice your god away from helping you if he knew the god's hidden name. Magical demonic power was in the spoken name. In the ancient world, knowledge of a person's name was believed to give one power over that person. A knowledge of the character and attributes of pagan gods was thought to enable the worshippers to manipulate or influence the deities in a more effective way than they could have if the deity's name remained unknown. To that extent, the vagueness of the term El, or God, frustrated persons who hoped to obtain some sort of power over the deity, since the name gave little or no indication of the God's character. This was particularly true for El, the chief Canaanite god. The prevailing influence of this pagan belief may have been partially responsible for the Israelite attempt to hide the name of Yahuwah by changing the vowel points. This changed the name to Adonai, or Lord, Master, Fear of the holy name being misused prompted a tradition of never speaking the name out loud. Only the high priest, once a year on the Day of Atonement, was allowed to say the name. Satan hates the omnipotent power of the self-existent one. He does not have the ability to be present everywhere at once and know what each person is thinking. Therefore, Satan sets up hierarchies to supply the lack. Pyramid marketing and the confessional are both examples of the means Satan uses to make himself all-knowing. In pyramid marketing, the lower levels support the upper levels. Each level reports to its superior. In the confessional, the local priest gathers information from his community. Any useful information is passed on to his superiors, who, in turn, pass it on to the bishops and cardinals. Thus, the information gathered from the masses passes through all the channels and levels of priesthood to reach the Pope himself. In like manner, Jesuits gather and pass on information from all levels of society, the educational, the religious, and political organizations. This vast intelligence-gathering network is Satan's substitute for the ability of Yahuwah to be everywhere at all times. This pyramid-style organization is represented in paganism and the occult by the Eye of Horus. From Freemasonry to the back of the U.S. $1 bill, the all-seeing eye is a symbol of Satan's attempt to be like the Most High, all-knowing and everywhere present. To meet the cry of every human heart, and reveal his love for sinners, the Father gave himself a name that revealed his all-knowing, everywhere-present, personal relationship with each one of his children. Deep in the heart of every person is a longing for a close, meaningful relationship with the deity he worships. Yahuwah reveals his own desire to be close to his creatures. His name itself is a promise 
that Yahuwah will be everything we need. The Bible gives hundreds of name combinations for Yahuwah. As the great I am, he promises his children, I am your shepherd. I am your healer. I am your provider. I am your strength. I am your refuge. Whatever you need him to be for this life and for eternity, the great I am will be for you. His name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty El, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Therefore, my people shall know my name. Therefore, they shall know in that day that I am he that doth speak. Behold, it is I. <laughs>